we have a much easier job uh, than those that fly people to orbit. Uh, there is not breakthroughs and solutions technically to fly affordable and safe enough flight to orbit. We do believe we have technical solutions to make it affordable and safe to fly suborbital flights. Keep in mind, the spaceship that flies on this will not go faster than Mach 4, four times the speed of sound. Uh, if you go to orbit, you have to go Mach 25. So there's much higher risks in that than there is to, to go to Mach 4. Space travel has been extremely dangerous. Uh, there's only been four accidents, but uh, as a result of those four, 4% uh, of the people that have flown outside the atmosphere have died uh, in accidents. You know, the two shuttle accidents and the, and the two uh, uh, Soyuz accidents. Um, that sort of safety record, even if it were uh, even if it were ten times that good, is it, certainly not as good, uh, not good enough for the for the public. The public, I believe, has to have the same kind of safety that we had for the initial airliners. So when we started flying commercial airlines back in 1927 with a Ford trimotor, uh, that risk was uh, one in six thousand rather than one in seventy, like spaceflight has been. Uh, and uh, very quickly, the commercial airlines, by 1932, the, the risk went to uh, uh, one fatality in, in uh, 30,000 uh, flights. In other words, your risk when you flew was one in 30,000. Uh, those sort of numbers are where we think we need to be with commercial uh, space in order to support a growing uh, industry that, that, that's not hindered by uh, 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 fear or hindered by um, uh, high insurance costs. Um, so that's our target. It's extremely aggressive because it means that, that we need to have uh, space flight operations that are at least a hundred times as safe as all government uh, space flying has been. Uh, that's not a hundred percent, that's a hundred times. And unless we meet that target, I don't think we'll have a growing business. So that's our, that's our challenge. I'd like to welcome Will Whitehorn here. Will, a few words, please. Well, thank you, Tom, and thank you, everybody at Oshkosh, for hosting us again this year. Is it going to be capable of launching unmanned vehicles as well as our spaceship too? This is going to be a vehicle capable of launching a satellite into space at much lower cost, much greater efficiency than has ever been done before. Spaceship 2 is also a vehicle that's going to be capable of doing space science. And space science, as well as space tourism, is crucial to our future. More and more people are saying today that we need to be in space if we're going to survive on this planet. And we've got our traditional way to do it. And that's why I'm going to do it for the It's about knowing the future for space tourism, but you do it for space science. Thank you, Will.